Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Quarry. My name is Raisinbrand. So in the last episode, we did chapters three and four because three and four were pretty, pretty quick. And I don't know how the rest of these chapters are going to be, um, but the things are starting to pick up the pace and everything of that such in terms of the quick time events and everything of that such. So just to recap and everything of that such, we did find a bloated corpse. Yay. Fun times. And we did find some more clues and everything of that such. I have my suspicions and I have my theories about some things here and there. I have my suspicions and I have my theories about everything that we've witnessed and everything of that such. And I'm hoping that as we continue to progress our way through this game, things just start to get more and more intense. Because like I said in the last episode, I'm really not feeling that right now. And it may just be because it's just starting to pick itself up. And that's totally fine. That is absolutely fine. But I'm hoping things just continue to progress more and more. But let's start off with the premonition, uh, with the actual, not the premonitions, the choices that we've made thus far leading up to where we are. So the Fool's Errand has been updated. So we removed the road arm, as you well know. So we couldn't get the car started and we couldn't leave Hackett's Quarry. Hence, why we're here in the first place, because Jacob did all this so that we could stay here overnight. So, but the rotor arm fell out of our pocket while we were swimming, and he was like, oh shit. So we drove in, and we got it. It is... Wait, what? In search of the, the rotor arm is lost forever. What do you mean it's lost forever? Didn't I get it? I got, no, I grabbed it. Didn't I grab it? I guess I didn't get it. All right, well, that that was not what I was expecting. All right, well, that's unfortunate. What updates with this? So we find the toy. Oh, she left it in the lot. Oh, okay. Don't know what that's going to be about, but uh, let's just continue on with, though. Abby came to Nick's A when he was attacked in the woods. As she should. But then again, she left him. She left him there. And I have suspicions about Nick as well. Ryan raced uh, through the forest in time to see Nick being dragged away by a hunter. Ryan didn't shoot at the hunter. Then why witness the hunter shoot his fingers off? That was... That was wicked. That was wicked crazy. I was like, oh my god. Jacob didn't distract the hunter. The hunter poured blood over his face. And then Ryan heard a rustling in the bushes but didn't shoot. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So that's all of that. There's only six more premonitions that we've got to unlock. That's crazy. That's crazy to me. All right. And then in terms of everything else from the tarot card readings we got both the star so here's the star <coughs> excuse me we did this technically and we did way better than i thought we did for that and then in terms of strength See, seeing that premonition makes me feel like that Nick here, he was attacked by one of the creatures, right? So he's now been injected with whatever kind of stuff that they have among them. So now he's, got, I think, trying to going to be transforming into one. Hey... I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. That was... <coughs> Fuck. I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'll be okay. Thanks to you. No, no, I, I just helped a little. It was 
all Caitlin and Ryan. You're here with me. That helps. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Uh, uh, no, stupid idea. We're not speaking up. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. <sighs> Even though I don't agree with it. But Kaylin's pretty good with her gun. I'm, I, I trust her. <coughs> I trust her. And now we're going to play as Kaylin. All right. Just looking for tarot card readings. Just looking for tarot cards. Hunter. Shit. 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 No sign of them. When you find them, let them And keep me posted, Bobby. Shit. Do you not see me? Are you that... <laughs> Are you that blind? Oh my god. Shit. trusted you hey so this may not be like the best time per se but like what yes yeah, so like i was just you know thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and uh, started camp and well, like now that summer's over and you know is that like the last time we're gonna see each other you know 
sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Be confident. Hey, don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick, I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? Be intrigued. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... kind of felt like a little bit more was gonna happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean... Of course I wanted it to happen, I just... didn't know if you did too. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um... I... You can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. Huh. Just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. What the fuck? Why are you acting? Is it because of your injuries? Is it the stuff inside your system now? We have died. We have died. It's okay. I got this. Oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Let's hide. Quick. Okay. Okay. Kind of good. I mean, we didn't do the the combat thing oh, there. Yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable oh, boy. and everything. And, you know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is, is that something, like, that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like, uh, DJing or music. Oh. Woo! Um, yeah, I mean, I like music but ah. I think I want to major in um, quantum physics wait what <laughs> quantum physics uh, you don't really seem like a science guy <laughs> oh yeah I mean you know not not here um. thanks Ryan oh that was a bit bugged for a sec I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit, by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to 
meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. My heart. <laughs> well, let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Well, yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, I know you like him. Mm hmm. I know you do. I see that sign there. I'm gonna go investigate it. I see a sign, so I'm gonna go see what it says. Oh. Ah. Shooting stars. Kaylin's way up there, but Dylan's on the board. Not Dylan, Ryan, excuse me. So that gives us something, right? Just want to be safe. Oh. Don't play with it. Something like that could really take your hands off. What is this doing at a kid's summer camp? I don't know, man. That's... It wasn't here over the summer. I mean, if it was, then... We would have noticed that, right? Well, whatever it was trying to catch, you can't now. Mm-hmm. Can't now. No, you're, you're, you're right on that. <clears throat> you're right on that. Like, I would have just left it alone. What I would have done. Can I go in here? No. That's unfortunate. Oh! This little area. Gotcha. Is my, uh, is the vial still here? I think it is. Hold on. Oh, what in the name of voodoo doo doo is this? Oh. All right, in case I might have uh, missed it. I guess, all right, well. I'm gonna check these cabins, see if I can uh, I don't think I can go and sign them. That's unfortunate. Oh, we technically have room 10 unlocked. <sighs> Hi. Room, room 10 is open. I'm gonna just go in here for a second. Because this I've opened. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe just in case if I wanted to come back here, if I missed anything. I guess that was the case. All right. Is this it right here? Looks like it. It's very charming. It's got little people there. It's very charming, I will say. All good? Give me a minute. Huh? Give me a minute. All right. Yeah. I want to explore. Uh. Ah, more evidence. Good. As we should have evidence. Ha ha! Tarot card! Yes! Thank you. Thank you. Haha. Uh -huh. See? Worth checking and exploring. I'm just saying. Alright, Ryan, I think we're good. Let's go inside. Wait, unless. Hold up, there's something over here. Now, 
No? All right. Now, Ryan, I think I'm good. Let's go inside. All good? Kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, <clears throat> but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. Be interested. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Okay, up, Mr. Teach. Professor, sign me up. Anyways, this thing's gonna mm -hmm. need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Does magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two way radio, so. Um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, that's not urgent at Hackett's quarry summer camp. And there has been a horrible accident attack. Some stuff's bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears and they are everywhere. And there's these hunters too. And they, I don't believe that at the bears, but also at us, um, which is <laughs> not good. And a few of our friends are hurt. And um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. He's gonna say that was terrible. Yeah, good? Was that? Swarm of bears? <laughs> yeah. I know! <laughs> heard of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears, but... Oh, oh God. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah. back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie yeah. stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah, sure. Oh my god. That was funny. Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um, no. Holy shit! They're talking about us. Because we just told them! 
On the fucking radio! Fuck! They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, Shit. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, I wanna get this. No! Why didn't you tell me that there's something out there? I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Get out the gun. Get out Is the it gun. A bear? No. I don't think bears can jump like that. I would get out your gun. There you go. There you go. And just be prepared for anything. Firing at anything. That would be stupid if I shot. What is, what is that? That would be what? really stupid. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, oh shit. shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, What about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can <laughs> um, tell them to hide or something. No. Oh, shit. Uh, uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, get into a cabin now. Go! Go! Oh, fuck, dude. Wait, but we broke down a door. Oh, wait, no. That's okay, because now we're able to hide in it. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I'm freaking out for nothing. What now? We... No. Okay, is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah. I mean, if it if it has hearing like a dog, maybe it, we we can play like a like a really high pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but you know. Do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Yeah. Okay. Because you trying to kill it? That's bad news. That's bad news. What? It's almost... Take a breath. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Be calm. Okay. Yeah, right. If you stress him out, he's gonna get anxious, Something and we don't need an anxious happen. Dylan. What's missing? Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go quickly.
this is too much. Oh, this is too much. Oh my god, this is too much. Cut it off? Cut it off? It's a bad idea. That's such a bad idea. Shit! Fuck! Oh, okay, 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 just, just hang on, hang on. No! No! Oh, I have to- Oh, no, no! Oh my god, why? Why did I shoot? Why? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna get Dylan killed. I'm gonna get him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, 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 Shaka can spread, so chainsaw. Uh, are you sure? Yes, fucking do it. Just fucking do it. No! No! Ah! What the fuck did I just do? Ah! Uh... The wire. Get the wire. Get the wire. What? Get the wire. Then get it on it. Plug it. Plug it into the thing. He's gonna bleed out. Oh my god! <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I do that? What do I do? What do I do? The button. The button. <laughs> Oh, he blew the speaker. Uh, did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. Why did I cut you? Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, fuck my hand. Right, right. Okay. Oh, just hold on. Yeah. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Y y y no shit! No shit! He's got. Did you heal him? Is it safe? Oh my god. We're okay for now. I think we're okay for now. I made a we're dumbass decision. Ah, oh, crap. Hurry up, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? Oh, I think so. Great. Motherfucker. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Tell him what happened! Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I'm not, um... But it's, it doesn't... doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit! Uh... Did that... thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It, it... <laughs> Where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who the fuck? Who was she? Should we follow her? <sighs> Who the? Kind of looks like Emma, but with an eye patch. Shit, Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> <coughs> Who is that? I mean, okay, the more that I think about it, the more that I think about it, I was really dumb 
and cutting his hand off. But then again, I might have done it, the, the better choice, actually, to help not spread the infection that that beast had on Dylan. But whatever this oh, is... Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. Okay. But whatever is this infection, it's now in there. Here we have the hermit. With the <coughs> hermit comes isolation, loneliness, but reflection, too. Perhaps, given some thought... The hermit who gives chase can guide you to safety. But that all depends on your actions, not his. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? I guess. I guess that's fine. Let's see. Oh! We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Cool. Really quickly, before we begin chapter six. Oh, we're starting off with Jacob. Okay, cool. Um, man, I am missing these like nobody's business. Oh! Oh! Jacob could die in this chat. Oh! Oh! No! We're not gonna... No. And I missed an ed a piece of evidence. That's that's fine. <coughs> God damn it. Alright, well, let me see what updated. But yes, yeah, since we knocked down the door, we were able to hide in the cabin. And then Dylan was bitten. Oh. So if they weren't able to get into the cabin, Dylan would have been fine. But what of the, but all of them could have been fucked. Okay, so it's kind of like ethical decision making. Like you know, it's like that trolley car situation. You, would you be willing to sacrifice three people or one people, one person? You know that kind of like scenario. It's like do you know? It's like maybe kill the less, maybe do the less, and all that. Okay, interesting. All right, for pieces of silver. Abby came to Nick's aid. Nick appreciated Abby trying to help him during the attack. Good, good. And then the helping hand here. Ryan decided to sever Dylan's hand. Ryan used the chainsaw to sever Dylan's hand. Dylan's infection stopped spreading. See, I felt like we did a good thing, even though I was like, what the fuck am I doing? What the hell am I doing? Because if I was going to use the shotgun... That was that ain't gonna that ain't gonna do shit. That ain't gonna do shit. Plus, it could kill him with all much spread shotguns have. It, it was probably gonna kill him. That was that would be stupid. That would have been really, really, really stupid. But thank God that I am smart and I know what to do. All right. But it's looking like we gotta get Jacob out of this alive. Jesus Christ. Okay, yelling. Jeez. Fuck! Oh, oh man. God, okay, things are starting to pick up in this game. Appreciate it, developers. Appreciate it. I know I bitched and moaned in the last episode. It's not Have doing anything you? to me. You gotta build, build the tension. Build the tension. All right. From here, where's the best way to go? think it's up these stairs so are we on the island is that what's happened are we on the island 
I think we might be. I think we're on the island, so we're gonna have to deal with uh, a certain some a certain creature. Yeesh. I'm gonna fall off this. Yeah, no shit. All right, let's move. <laughs> let's move, Jacob. I know you wouldn't want him to fall. All right, let's just keep it moving. What do you see? Well, that bodes ill. Fucking hell. Alrighty. Camera. Oh, it's a memory card. Ooh. Hmm. Maybe there's something on here. Yeah, just gonna stuff it right in your trousers. All right, nah, that's fine. That's fine. Because where else are you gonna put it? In your pouch? Not a bad place, but... All right, anywho, we're... <laughs> <laughs> see, see, just keep walking forward. Keep walking forward. We need, we need a, we need to find Emma. Cause you're scared for Emma, so we need to find her for you. Oh shit. Fuck. All right, just be careful. I don't want you to die. I don't want anybody to die. I'm trying to get them all out alive. I don't want anybody to die. Ah, Jesus Christ! Oh. 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 oh, oh, fuck my life. Okay, you scared me. Jacob. You okay? I guess you could call it that. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? don't be a dick. You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear. No, you're right. You're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. They did this to me. That's a lot of blood. Yeah, well, it's not mine. Mm, got quite the funky bouquet. No offense. Um, okay. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Be apologetic. Oh, shit. Okay, you know what? You're right. Okay? You're right. I'm sorry. Oh, you're so annoying. Oh my god, can we please not do this right now? Okay, seriously? I literally came looking for you as soon as I heard there was something out here. Or things? Like plural? Wait, really? <sighs> Run! <clears throat> All right. We're going. Ooh. Hi, darling. Jacob! Sorry! Fuck! What? Get... Get Emma! Oh, 
we don't have to breathe. There you go. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, we got such a long time because you got a good respiratory system. I like what I see. Keep it up. Alrighty. Very nice! The fuck? I am breathtaking. Shit. Oh! Oh! Oh no, the premonition. No. 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 Pry open. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah, 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 shit. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah. Ah. Look, you could. Ah. No. No. No, don't you kill me. Oh my god. Yeah, who, who, who? Who's that? Who's that? Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. No, be compassionate. You okay? I don't know who that other girl was. I've never seen her before. Me neither. But her? Yeah. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. What? Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa. Nick, what do you... I want to taste you. Hey. Yeah, he... Come here, huh? Oh, Nick, what the hell? Get off! Oh, watch out! I said get off! Get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> yeah, Nick's Nick's infected. That's that's an obvious. That's an obvious. He's infected. Shh. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. <sighs> Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. <laughs> you need to be keeping your- Ooh, fun! <laughs> Aspirin. Yay! Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? 
easy, man. They make photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. Good plan. Good plan. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Oh, God. All right. Well, this is charming, I will say, none the least. All right, let me see. I wonder where Caleb is. Yeah, Caleb Hackett? Uh, that's a good question. I'm gonna just check these rooms. Okay, nothing in this one. All right, door number two. Nothing. Okay, door number three. I think we have a winner. We do have a winner. We have a tarot card. Nice. All right. See, definitely worth checking. All right. Door number four. Nope. Okay. And finally, last but not least, a locker. Oh. This place was so different, like, 12 hours ago. Charming. Love me a spooky drawing. Alright. Door number five. Nothing. Love to see it. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, so now these rooms. Have anything I need. But I did have a tear card, door three, so that's what's good. Alright, let's check these doors. Anything in here? No. Alright, how about in here? No. Okay, how about this one? No. Okay, what then? How about this one? Is this the room? No. All right. Well, that's not it. How about this one? No. Well, then we are totally are at a loss. I don't know what to tell you. Here. That better? Thanks. Hey. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Hmm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. <clears throat> Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. <coughs> I don't Do like... like me. Ah! Ah! At this point, I'm going to be aggressive. I don't know what's going on with you right now, but I like the old Nick better. I knew it. 
I knew you didn't like me at all, Dave. That's not what I said. Why won't you tell me the truth? I am telling you the truth. I only hung out with you because you seem so desperate. Poor, pathetic little Abby, ready to throw herself at the first guy that came along. Easy pickings. Right off the bloom. This isn't you. This this isn't you. I... <gasps> Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. If he is possessed like I think he is, he'll get over it. I just made that extremely worse. <laughs> oh, what did I do? Oh. Why? I was like, if I shot him, he'll be fine because he's turning into what I didn't think that that was going to happen. Oh, Jesus Christ. God. Now you're worried where everybody is? <sighs> okay. So, if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go... The lunch. Mm-hmm. That's a good statement. Only one left. Ah. Uh -huh. Is that the fireworks? I'll take that. That can be really useful. To be quite honest, that can really be useful. To ward off any of the uh creatures. God, why did I shoot? <laughs> why did I shoot? I think Nick's now a lost cause. I stories again. I had no idea the kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. Hmm. Just why did I shoot? Just why, why did I make that, why did I shoot? I mean, I make decisions that are stupid all the time. What else is new? What else is new? God. I shouldn't have shot him. I know he was like, not himself, but I shouldn't have done it nonetheless. Gotta get out of here. Great. Great, is this Nick? That's now after me. Great. Great. Love to see it. All right. Let's pick up the pace, Emma. Let's just get you to the lodge so everything will be just fine. I promise everything will be all right. I don't like any it a bit of that. Nope. 
I mean, technically, they don't know that I'm here. I'm gonna go up the stairs. I'm gonna take the stairs. This feels more logical. I'll take the path. Yeah, I could go through a shortcut. But I'm gonna take the path. I'm gonna just take a path. Just this once. I know shortcuts are good. But I'm gonna take the path. The paths are good. Paths are good these days. Oh, it's the trap. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go this way. What's that? Is that something on the ground? What is that? What is it? Oh, it's just a... It's just a branch. God, don't do me like that, game. Don't do me like that where I thought that was like someone's legs. Oh my lord. Don't do me like that. Don't play me like that. Alright, that's probably where the shortcut is from. I'm just gonna go this way. Progress my way through. Follow this path. This path looks reasonable. Yep. Before pop, let's do it fast. That's it. Don't run. Do not run. Don't make yourself noticeable. Don't do it. God damn. God damn these <laughs> fucking kids. Son, what? Shit! Hey, stop! Stop squirming! Give me the try. Is she bit, huh? How am I supposed to know? I don't know. Let me look at her. Nah. Get the fuck away from me! Oh! oh. Friendly. Caitlin! Ryan! Abby! It doesn't feel safe. No. It does not. Abby! Ryan? All right. <clears throat> I was seeing if there was anything going to be further explained there, but it didn't look like the case. Yeah. Yeah. I killed him. Yeah. Yeah. I. I know. I. I, I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Right. I'm gonna reassure you. Didn't have what you did. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't. I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. 
it was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? What? Be suspicious. Who's there? I need your help. Please. Wait, Who you, are you? you sound like Laura. My name is Laura Kearney. Oh! So? Don't let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you. Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. I would, yes. I'm interested. Okay, I'm gonna open the door, slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Damn! So it's you with the eye patch. What? Things just got interesting. Here we are again. Yes, hello. Just you and me. Oh, I know. It's such a delightful time. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Sure. The moon, how poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Yes. Oh, shit. Off you go then. Top, top. One down. Isn't that terribly exciting? Ugh. She's such a charming lady. She's such a charming lady. Alright, well, before we progress on to Chapter 7, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end this episode right here. That's crazy me. Laura is a part of all of this? That makes... Zero sense. Then again, the game can may maybe can just explain itself in what it's doing. The story is getting interesting. The story is getting interesting. I made some very interesting tough calls in this episode. Very, very happy. I'm. I'm. It's. It's good to see where this is now beginning itself to further expand out there. Is that even English? I don't even know. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to end this right here. We'll continue this next time. So that being said, thank you so much for watching this episode of The Quarry. Please feel free to leave a like if you liked what you saw. Feel free to ring those bells. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I don't know what else we've got going up in store with this game, but all I have to say, keep me intrigued, game. Keep me intrigued. Just keep doing it. You're doing good. You're starting to get me more interested in what's happening now based on the decisions that I have made. I'm excited to see where this is going to go. So with that all being said, as for right now, this has been Raisin Brand. Thank you so much once again for watching this episode of The Quarry. And I shall see you in the next video.